Hi there. Uh, I'm at the Röst Air artist residency. Uh, right now, spending a couple of weeks at uh, Skumbær, the outermost island of Lofoten in Norway. In west, you will find Greenland, some thousands of kilometers away. Uh, right now, I'm sitting in the Skumbær lighthouse that was built in uh, late 19th century, still operating. Uh, in the background, you can see the Nykan Nature Reserve, uh, which up until the 80s hosted the world's largest colony of Atlantic puffins, uh, with about 1.5 million breeding pairs at that time. Uh, we've been seeing uh, killer whales swimming around the island, so I feel this is the closest to nature you can get. Uh, I have mostly been uh, gathering inspiration and impressions uh, out here uh, by photographing, filming, writing and sketching. Uh, it's however nice to do something concrete in between. So between making food, doing the dishes and some gardening, I have made some experimental art projects and here is one of them. Uh, I usually like to improvise and do playful projects using recycled materials. On a remote island like Skumbær, there are all the possibilities for this. You just have to use what you find laying around. Uh, since I brought my daughter's old pocket camera with me, I thought about uh, reusing it in some way. It's a simple and cheap camera that doesn't have the best resolution, but at least it's durable and waterproof. So when I found an old fishing rod laying around, uh, I thought I'd do a photo fishing project. Instead of making helicopter or drone footage, I built some simple camera adapters of recycled materials and used them with fishing rod to do a low-tech zero budget uh, project. For example, filming seaweeds underwater, going up and down the lighthouse and exploring some smaller caves. Here's some footage from the project. Hope it gives you some inspiration. Bye for now.